Okay, um, I thought I'd jump on this morning. It's the first time I've actually done a speaking video, so bear with me because I'm just getting the hang of it. Um, people ask me a lot of questions about foundations, so what I thought I'd do was run through um, some of my favourite ones at the moment and why. Um, ignore Ralph screaming in the background as per. Um, and just let you know what they do and why I like them. Um, so my first favourite at the moment that I've been raving about for weeks that you all know is um, Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. It claims to stay all day and all night and it really does. Um, it is a full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long lasting finish um, and she recommends that you apply it blending outwards from the centre of the face for a flawless airbrushed finish. Um, I find that one applies best with a sponge. It can drag a little bit with the brush unless you've got a really, really good blending brush. Um, the Bobbi Brown Expert Face Brush is good for, for blending that one out. Um, it's very, very pigmented. It's super, super kind of um, full cover. So you only need a really small amount. Start in the centre and blend out because most people need most coverage through the centre of the face. Um, you can then add a little bit more if you need it in certain areas, but I would get the blend um, as even as you can throughout the whole face, spend quite a while blending that one in um, and then spot conceal with a concealer afterwards. Um, another big favourite is a bit of a classic double wear by Estee Lauder. Um, now some people went off this for a while and felt like the formula wasn't quite the same. I haven't found that. Um, I think it's still a really good stay in place makeup, particularly for oily skins. Um, it won't budge throughout the day and it gives you again full cover. Something a little bit lighter and a lot cheaper that I'm actually really liking at the moment is Revolution's Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. Now that comes up about £9 a bottle as opposed to 34 and 32 for the Charlotte and the Double Wear. Um, it's gorgeous, it's really, really nice. My only bugbear with this one is the shades are a little bit off, so some of them can look a little bit grey. So do make sure if you're going to try that one that you try it just on the jawline in the shop and go outside in the daylight and have a look and make sure that you're happy with the colour. I do think it oxidises a little bit on the skin as well and changes colour, so make sure you have a good test before you choose your colour on that one. Um, length of wear wise, it does tend to last fairly well. Um, it's medium full cover, so you can build it up for a full cover if you want to, um, but it's more on the medium side than the full cover side. And then my third one at the moment that I'm loving for sort of fresher days where I don't want as much coverage is MAC Face and Body. Again, it's a classic. This one's really, really runny, so you have to work it into the skin almost like a moisturiser. So I normally use my fingers to really rub it into the skin. Um, it's very thin and it's a bit difficult to get used to at first, but just keep rubbing it into the skin. Um, and that dries down with a really kind of water resistant um, finish. Very skin-like, it can be one very, very light, almost like a wash of colour, or you can layer it to give you a bit more um, coverage. Once that's on and dry and settled, it gives you a really flawless cover. Um, it photographs beautifully as well, so it's a good one to choose if you're going to be getting your photograph taken. Um, it's not for those of you that want that really kind of full cover, but it is definitely for those of you that want um, just a touch on a morning just to give you something a little bit more than a tinted moisturiser. Um, and again, it is buildable, so you can layer it if you're wanting to take it up to more of a medium coverage, I would say. And yeah, they're the ones I'm sort of loving. So if you've got any that you prefer or any that you think I should give a try, um, just shout up and leave a comment. Okay, thanks, bye.